Hi, Sarah. It's uh, Tom Savini, and uh, I got your question. Uh, I see that you're going to do a, a slasher film. Well, listen, um, the best scares come from suspense. Anybody can jump up and go boo, and that lasts for like one or two seconds, you know. But the best scares from, come from suspense. Um, here's an example. <clears throat> here's a room, and there's a door here, and there's a door here. You show the psycho, or the creature, or the bomb, or the monster. You show it behind this door. Then the girl walks in. Now, if it's a horror movie, it's usually a girl. From the second she walks in, the scare has started because you've shown the threat behind the door. The audience is like, can't wait for her to get to that door <clears throat> to see what happens. So the suspense has started, and if you're smart, and if you're a good director, you slow her down. The phone rings. The entire time she's on that phone, the audience is on, their, on pins and needles on the edge of their seat. Hang up! Go get, open that door over there. They want to see what's going to happen to the door. Okay, she hangs up the phone. Now they're very excited, and they're getting, because she's heading toward the door again. Slow her down again. Oh, I broke a nail, or something like that. You slow her down. Now... A good director knows how much time to do this with. If you wait too long, the audiences, they just tune out. They don't care anymore. But if you time it right, by the time she opens that door, and she opens it, and there's nothing there, and the audience goes, huh, and then the monster jumps out from some other place. So the best time to scare them is after you've made them go, huh, or made them laugh. You know, that was the secret of American Werewolf in London. So, suspense. I think you said... How can I make it more suspenseful? Well, you've got the right idea. It has to be suspenseful. Show. You show the threat. I mean, that's why World War, World War Z was so effective. They showed the threat, and then they put people in it. As soon as the people went in it, the scare had started, because you knew. Now here, Okay, here's something that I wanted to do in Night of the Living Dead, <clears throat> but it got... George Romero didn't like the idea. I said I would like to have the zombies have a point of view, a kind of black and white, decrepit point of view that you knew was the point of view of the zombies. He said, well, that kind of makes them seem alive. I said, well, they're not walking into stuff. They're not tripping over things. They clearly can see. But I wanted it as a, a tool to build suspense. For example, if you see me and you talking in a movie, and you cut to that zombie point of view of us from like 30 feet away, as soon as you cut back to us, the scare has started, because you know that the zombies are close by. Anyway, there's a thousand little tricks like that you can do, but mainly pro provide the threat, establish the threat, and then put people in it. Anyway, best of luck with your movie, and if I see you at a convention or something, remind me that we did this, okay?